Hi guys, Luke from MGN here. Today we're gonna go through a little tutorial on how to recruit units in Dark Deity. Uh, we're gonna use Sloane and Sophia for this. So without further ado, uh, during Dark Deities Chapter 3, Treasure Unknown, you presented your first opportunity for missables. There are two recruitments here, like I said, Sloane the Mage and Sophia and Ferret, who's an archer. Sophia's the archer, not the ferret. That'd be cool though. There are also two chests with loot and your goal for the map is to kill the boss as quickly as possible. The game incentivizes the rushing of the map by telling you at the beginning of the chapter that you'll be rewarded more gold the lower your turn count is when the boss dies. The map itself is split into a left and right section with one recruitment and chest on the left and the other two on the right. On the lower difficulties, it's certainly possible to split your troops up on each side and do the map quickly whilst also grabbing all the missables. But on the higher difficulties, look, there's no shame in foregoing the gold bonus for rushing and just have your troops swoop one side safely and then the other side safely. Recruitment and doors work a little differently in Dark Deity than it does in Fire Emblem, if you're familiar with that series and have come over to Dark Deity from that series. You don't have to have your rogue or a key holder open chests or doors in Dark Deity. They can be opened by any character who's adjacent to the objective. Which is a nice quality of life thing, so don't worry about making Sia the character you drag along to the doors that lead to the recruitments or the chests later on in that level. Because even your healers or frontliners can do the work. The second point is that recruiting units isn't restricted to a lord or quote unquote main character in Dark Deity. You can recruit troops just in the same way as you would open doors or chests, by having any character move to them and interact with the blue unit that you yet do not control. So, open the door with anyone on the right to free Sloane the Mage, and then do the same with Sophia on the left. If you're thinking that you already have a Mage and an Archer, and you want to skip the recruitments and just rush the boss to get maximum amount of gold for finishing the level quickly, I would heavily advise against this. Yes, recruiting those two will mean that you double up on Mage and Archer based classes, but... Once those four units hit level 10, you're given the choice of advancing them to their next class out of four options. This means that those characters that were once quite similar will be greatly diversified, and that will be the key to being successful in Dark Deity in the long run. Having a character for every tactical situation. As such, there's not really any downside to having multiple of the base classes. You want that, you can diversify. And even though those early levels of the base class you can diversify there as well. You can invest one mage with weapon tokens for accuracy and invest the other one or another one in the second with the critical chance or something or damage. Just because two units may seem similar on the surface doesn't mean they are or that they will be in the long run. Look, so that's our quick tutorial to how to recruit units in Dark Deity using Sloane and Sophia as an example. Keep an eye out on the YouTube channel, we're going to be posting more guides, how-tos, all that good stuff, very shortly.